I um, I went on Amazon again. Luckily, again, it didn't cost me too much because again, I bought something cheap. Talk about yourselves. This, which is a, a camera clip. I appreciate some of you are probably asking, what on earth is a camera clip? Well, here's James on location to explain. Bah! Sorry? Oh, we're live. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the middle of nowhere. Um, not really the middle of nowhere. Manchester, big city, is, is just over there. Camera clips. I'll come to you. Don't you move. Don't worry. Yeah. This is a camera clip. Basically, it's two bits of metal stuck together by two screws and placed in like a belt, or in this case, a camera bag strap. And with the help of an Arca Swiss plate, I can put my camera in this and immediately become hands-free. So I can scramble up rocks, do some mountain biking, or maybe some cartwheels. I have just realized though that I can't show you any of that because I only bought one camera with me on my isolation afternoon exercise. I, uh, I just realized I could show you with my phone. So here we go, camera in. Secure, shaking about. Emily says she can't take me seriously with these glasses on. What do you think? Probably the same, I imagine. Back to the studio. So yeah, that's a camera clip. And this one, this Peak Design one, is uh, the one that I've been using for the past couple of years. Now, when I started using this, some people in the comments, I think, thought it was a bit of a silly idea. It wasn't as common as they are now, and people were thinking, why on earth would you let your camera dangle down from a, a camera bag strap with a tiny bit of metal? That seems a bit ridiculous. And I'm sure there are some people who think that still now. I'll say a couple of things to that. Number one, this thing is so well built, I've never had any concern about the safety of my camera or the security of my camera on whatever it's attached to, normally my camera bag strap. It's such a cool little product. Number two, this thing has completely revolutionized how I take photos because now when it's sat on my camera bag strap, my camera is accessible within like a second, all while I've got both of my hands free when I'm not using it, which is not the case with a camera strap, I've found, because with a camera strap, if you're climbing up a mountain, scrambling or whatever, it's still bouncing around your body and you're still a bit concerned that it's gonna swing into a rock or whatever. Not so with this, it is amazing what this has done for my photography, just because it makes my camera so much more accessible than it otherwise has been when I need both hands. Also, as you can see, this one's pretty bashed up after a couple of years of use, which I really like. I love when stuff gets beaten up a little bit and becomes yours, basically, when it's got its own marks on it that make it yours. But yeah, the fact that this gives me access to my camera quicker than anything I've ever used makes me feel a bit more like James Bond as opposed to James Popsis. So anyway, this week I went on Amazon to see if this is still the only camera clip in the market, and I found that it wasn't. I found that the, um, the Uti bit is also available now, and available for under a third of the cost. Now, as you can see, if I put them side by side, it may be a third of the cost, the Oot bit, but it's um, significantly bigger. As for weight, the Peak Design weighs 87 grams, and the Uti bit, 147, so one point something times heavier. Okay, so it's bigger, it's heavier, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm not too concerned about that. What I'm concerned about is does it hold a camera securely? And on that subject, I have some initial concerns because if I just undo these screws, again, talk amongst yourselves, it's not particularly quick to get off whatever it's on. I'll give you that. But if I take the back and the front away from each other, you can see that the back is just a piece of metal. Now on the Peak Design one, talk about yourselves. On the Peak Design one, you might be able to see that on the back of this, it's rubber. It's um, like ribbed rubber, which means it grips whatever it's held to. So yeah, that will need testing. Before I do any testing though, one potential positive about the Uta bit is that on the Peak Design one, on my copy, my bashed up copy anyway, there's a bit of play. The plate doesn't sit completely flush to the, uh, the clip and therefore you do get a bit of movement. It's never bothered me, the noise has never frustrated me when my camera's mounted to my bag and I've never even noticed it to be honest. The only time I've really noticed it is when this came in the post and again it does the same thing but there's a screw on the Utabit one that you can tighten to stop it happening which I thought was interesting. What I will say about that though is that it makes you feel a little bit less like James Bond because well, in order to get your camera you have to sort of unscrew this which doesn't feel quite as immediate. Okay, I have some 
observations. Right, I didn't think I was going to be too bothered by the size and weight of the, uh, the Uta bit, and I was half right. The weight doesn't concern me, because let's be honest, this weighs under 150 grams, and the difference between some lenses is more than that. So I don't think the weight is particularly a problem. What I do think is a problem, certainly for me, is that when I put this on my chest, it's so big and so much bigger than the Peak Design one, that it actually gets in the way of my range of motion. I can't really move my arm properly, because this is in the way. Now, if you've got a broader frame than me, that's not gonna be a concern for you, but if you haven't, I found it to be a bit annoying, and again, it made me feel a little bit less like James Bond. Um, the screw lock thing on the Uta bit, I don't think I'll ever use. I mean, let's be honest, this camera clip has been built for speed, and uh, by using the screw, you're basically taking away the biggest benefit and the purpose of this product. So yeah, I guess there might be some situations, like if you're in a really busy place and you don't want to be robbed of your camera, where tightening the screw might make sense. I mean, someone's gonna to have to be pretty skillful and brazen to get your camera from you when this screw is done up, uh, and when the camera is, I mean, quite literally under your nose. And while the Peak Design Capture doesn't have a, um, a screw, it does have a lock, which I think is much more neatly integrated to this. And so basically the button that you press to let the plate free, that has got a lock in built into it. So if you turn it, then it turns the lock on and you actually can't press the button. So I think that is a much more neat solution than having a screw, which kind of slows down the process of getting your camera. To be honest, I never use the lock on the Peak Design one, and I certainly wouldn't use the screw on this, so. I don't think either matters, to be honest. A couple of things that I do think are a big positive about the Uta bit, uh, this big red button, which appeals to the, uh, the inner five-year-old in me, I do like that little detail. Also, on the plate that comes with the Uta bit, you can, um, you can undo it with your fingers. You can't on the Peak Design one. On the Peak Design one, you need an Allen key. I reckon I lose an Allen key a week. Ridiculous, I know, and completely my fault, but yeah, it does annoy me about this. Shut up. So, in conclusion, I believe that the Peak Design Capture is better engineered, more well thought through, lighter, smaller, a more well put together package than the um, Uta bit. Having said that, I think if I had a bigger frame, broader shoulders, and my movement wasn't limited by uh, the Uta bit, then I'd struggle to spend more than three times more on the Peak Design one. To be honest though, like I said, these clips, or this clip in particular, has completely revolutionized how I take photos. It's been responsible for making sure that I get lots of photos because my camera is to hand a lot more than it used to be. And so even though this Peak Design one is actually quite expensive when you compare it to the, uh, the Uta bit, it's more than worth its money, or certainly has been in my case. So um, just buy whichever, because it'll definitely improve your photography, is what I'm saying. So yeah, that concludes my, my review, I think. Um, Thanks for watching. They're not even much luck, but it's quite skillful.